okay, everybody at the beginning of the year is going to get promos for everything. And so that's probably when gyms are going to be the most active in their marketing is, you know, new year, new you or whatever it is and get a month free at our gym, whatever those packages are, everybody's going to do that. Why don't they do that in March? All right. So this is for Hazel. Um, she says, you talk a lot about creating niche ads and in some industries like your medical industry, it comes naturally. Uh, and then I clarified and I asked what niche are you in? So she's in the gym niche and she wants to know how to create like sub niche offers, how to really build a library of ads for things like PT, group classes, yoga, uh, you tested many times, transformation challenge ads went. Okay. So, um, I'll, I'll answer your question, Hazel, with this response. Uh, we talked today about the two types of offers that I really like to do uh, that I've come up with in my own agency, which is a test drive offer and a self-discovery offer, both of which will work in gyms, maybe not all gyms, but certain gyms, okay? And so I'll talk first about test drive offers. So you have, uh, anytime you have something unique, that's a very important thing. So unique, like if like at some point in time, Zumba was unique. Okay. Today it's not unique, but if you had something where it was uh, more trending and, and new and a gym was bringing it in and you could maybe kind of be the tip of the spear of bringing that thing in uh, like, geez, I don't know. I, I, I can't think of anything that is like trending in gyms right now. Uh, maybe hot yoga. No, hot yoga has been around for a long time, but in that case, if you have something that's unique or desirable, all you got to say is, hey, come try out two uh, Zumba classes, two yoga classes, two yoga for mom classes, two whatever, right? And I package them in two for a reason, okay? And, you know, here's this offer and get it for this amount of money, okay? The cool thing about test drive offers is if you have something unique, those are a consistent, a very consistent lead flow for you. The key to making them work is to get down deep, like to not say, uh, come try our gym for two, like two times for free. That's not a great offer. You want to deconstruct the gym. What are the unique things within the gym? Um, maybe they have martial arts stuff in there. I don't have any of that. Maybe they have, um, uh, you know, um, peloton in there maybe they have cycling maybe they have whatever it is go into the gym and deconstruct the different pieces of the gym and then use those small pieces as the promo pieces right um in the in the gym that i go to they have it's a regular gym but they also do crossfit okay and so i might say something like you know come in for two free crossfit sessions a uh, a body uh fat composition and then a diet plan or something like that. I'm just totally off the cuff, by the way. So that's a test drive offer. A self-discovery offer is an offer where the person ends up learning more about themselves. So I've seen these things recently where you uh, put a respirator on and you walk, it kind of looks like the thing that they do in Rocky, you know, when Ivan Drago is running. Um, but you can put these things in. It'll tell you how you uh, how you metabolize different things, so it can give you a reading on your on your metabolism. Dude, if if I wanted to like lose weight or get in shape, I would find that very interesting. So come in and get a free session of whatever that's called. Or there's another one. There's this uh, thing called um, I don't remember what it's called, but you stand there and you do this, and it spins you around, and it gives you a 3D scan <coughs> of your body composition, right? And in doing that, it also provides some kind of plan for you to fix that. So a scan like that is a really attractive offer to the right people. You can take those offers that I've just mentioned, and you can niche them down even further to moms, to working moms, to, uh, you know, families, to whatever it is, like you can like make that same offer, the exact same offer, but just tailor it to a very specific individual. And then boom, all of a sudden it starts to fly off the shelves. And also when you're writing the ads, they start to fly off the shelf too. Okay. And then promos. In fact, we were talking about promos today on the call. So if you have a promo, okay, everybody at the beginning of 
the year is going to get promos for everything. And so that's probably when gyms are going to be the most active in their marketing is, you know, new year, new you or whatever it is and get a month free at our gym, whatever those packages are, everybody's going to do that. Why don't they do that in March? Why don't they do that in October? Right. And so the real thing that you need, the reason they do them in March is because there's a reason new year, new you just come up with the reason. Okay. It's Valentine's day, get in shape for your partner. There you go. There's one idea. It's spring, spring back into shape, right? So you just take the same offer and now it becomes much more compelling because not everyone else is running the same offer and it's seasonal. You can do the exact same. That's the thing. You could take one template, duplicate, 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 as many whys as you can throw in front of the offer. You got a template. And if you've proven it once, It'll work for all of the other ones too, because the only question that people have in their minds is why are they offering such a good thing? Well, it's because they want me to get in shape for my lover. Sweet. That makes sense to me. Sign me up. Mm -hmm.